Hey y'all, it's Ashley from Luther Company. And today I thought it would be fun to do an under the sea blanket check-in um, because we have revealed January, February, March, April, and May's colorways and the different stitches and combinations that we have been doing for the blanket. And I thought it kind of be fun to kind of get you know, go through and recap all of the month's themes and the stitches along with how this blanket works and just kind of do a check-in with it. It's the first few months kind of snuck by and I kind of had plans to do this after we had revealed three, but you know, once the new year starts, things just kind of fly by. So I thought we would do like a five month check-in and then we will do another one uh, maybe once we're about eight or nine months in and then do a final one at the end of the year. So I don't know, I thought it'd be super fun to kind of re-chat about the Under the Sea Blanket because when we talked about this project in the beginning, um, it was before I had revealed any of the colorways, any parts of the blanket. And now that we have a good progress on this, um, I thought it'd be fun to share because we're almost halfway. We have one more month to go and then we'll be halfway through making this blanket and I am loving it. So that's what we're going to be chatting about today. If you don't know what the Under the Sea Blanket is, it is essentially our year-long project that we are making through our Lether Collection subscription box. Our Lether Collection subscription box is our first original subscription box that we have ever offered. Every box comes with one skein of hand-dyed yarn. It comes with our bonus item of the month, which for 2022, we are doing stone stitch markers. And then you also get the crochet patterns of the month. There's a one skein project, our year long blanket project. And then you also get the hooked on socks pattern and the bonus patterns as well. So with the Lather Collection subscription box, you can upgrade your box and add an additional skein and you can also upgrade to a deluxe box. Deluxe box means that you get a crochet hook as well and you can choose between Funfetti or Natural. And then you also get the stitch marker of the month and the stitch marker of the month matches that month's theme. So what I'm doing with our box is with our two skeins and that month's crochet hook is I'm designing a year long project. We basically need two skeins, that month's crochet hook to make the crochet pattern. And it is a continuous blanket. So in January, we started with the dolphin collection and it's this big rectangle panel and we work this beautiful texture until we essentially uh, run out of yarn or pretty close to running out of yarn. The pattern is designed to be a two skein project. We may not always use the full two skeins, but we need more than one skein in order to complete that month's panel so that our blanket is a good size at the end of the year. You can make this with one skein. It would be more of a lap style blanket than a throw size blanket, but you can do that. So what we do is in January, we started with the dolphin collection. We added this beautiful texture. Then when we were done with the dolphin collection, we set the blanket to the side until February's yarn arrived. And that was the anemone fish. And we worked that month's yarn and that month's crochet hook and that month's stitch into our blanket. We worked that until we ran out of yarn um, and set that aside. And then we worked the octopus collection. Same thing, our yarn hook, our yarn hook and stitch changed. Then in April, we did the sea lion collection, our yarn hook and stitch changed. And then now that we have just revealed May, our yarn hook and stitch changed again for the month of May. So we have dolphin, anemone fish, octopus, sea lion, and coral all added to our blanket. And it's so much fun. So what I thought we would do is kind of chat all about this. So if you've been making it along, um, then you're kind of right at the pace of revealing the boxes. If you have fallen behind or if you haven't started yet, I kind of want to chat all about this. And then if you are kind of at the pace of the boxes arriving, you just go down memory lane about making this blanket. So let's kind of chat a little bit about what this blanket is and how it works. So it's a two skein project. You're gonna need two skeins of that month's yarn. So with Lather Collection, every box comes with one skein, but you can upgrade to two skeins and then you've got the yarn to make it. When we're done, it's going to measure approximately 50 by 60, but there is a one skein option. 
So this is a year long project and it's a continuous project. So basically once we reach the end of that month's yarn and that month's stitch and we're at the end of the last of that row, we basically just take our project, set it to the side somewhere safe and wait until the next month's yarn arrives. And then we just change our yarn, change our hook, change the color at the end of that row, chain one and turn. And then we're on to that next month's yarn, crochet hook and stitch. So there's no seaming. This is a continuous blanket. So last year for 2021 through Lether Collection, we did the destination blanket. And that one, there was 12 destinations and 20 squares. So some months there was one square, some months there was two squares. Once we had our 20 squares, it was time to seam all that together. And then we could add border to each individual square. We could add a border to the entire blanket. And then we had this huge, massive uh, destination blanket that was so much fun. Each square represented one of our stops. And it's a lot of fun. You can find that entire pattern, that entire, all the crochet kits to make all of that in our store at thelethorco.com. Just click the destination tab and you'll see all that fun stuff. So you can make that at your own pace and the blanket's finished. So it's a complete pattern now and it's a lot of fun. So you can check that out. But this year I wanted to do something different with the Lether Collection blanket. I wanted to do something that we didn't have to do any seaming or um, any kind of having to keep track of all the squares because I loved making the blanket and it was so much fun. But when you're making it over a year, sometimes your squares can go missing. And that would happen to me. I would have a little basket down here behind me that I would put my squares in. And then for some reason, I would need one of them while I'm working on another project to check something. And I would forget to put it back. So I am loving this continuous. All you have to do is just take your giant blanket, set it to the side until the next ones, the next month's yarn and crochet hook arrive. And then you can keep going. So again, every month the yarn weight changes, the crochet hook changes and the stitch changes. So with Lather Collection, the way the spots was originally designed was featuring around different crochet hook sizes. And then from there, we chose different yarn weights that went with that hook size. So with the subscription box, we use sizes B through J. It is 10 different sizes and we have an order that we stick to. So it's kind of the original order of how our box started. We don't work like B, C, D, E, so on, or in a backwards order, J, I, H, 4.5 G. We work in kind of a mixture of it. So, you know, we start with one, then we go to another, and it kind of hops around a little bit um, and just how the way we originally started this box. And we try our hardest to stick to this schedule um, unless we can't get a crochet hook size for some reason. But the way we plan these boxes are basically a year in advance, but to get the supplies for the, the creating these boxes, we get that months in advance so that we've got time to kind of figure out an alternative plan if we have to, or it has time for our hooks to come in for that. But that's just a little behind the scenes of how the planning of this box works. So our crochet hook sizes set is the starting place of planning these boxes. And then from there, I look at the hook size and decide what yarn weight could go with that. Because we do use multiple different yarn weights for Letho Collection. We use Sock, Sport, DK, Worsted, Aran, and Bulky. So we have six different yarn weights that we try to work into the Letho Collection for the year. And with 2022, I wanted to make sure to give y'all a good variety of different yarn weights. So, so far this year in January, Dolphin was worsted, um, an enemy fish was sport, um, octopus was decay, sea lion was sock, and then uh, coral was worsted. So there are other weights we haven't gotten to yet. Some weights you'll see a little more than others. And a lot of that is because of whatever the crochet hook size feature is that month. And that's kind of how we work it. So whichever hook size is up next, I choose a yarn weight that works with that. And then we keep going and it is so much fun. So with the under the sea blanket, I record a tutorial every month for it. 
So in the tutorial, it basically looks like a little mini scarf. Um, it's a rectangle. And that's basically so that I can take the giant 50 inch wide blanket and show it to you on a much smaller scale on how to work those stitches. Because again, our stitches change every month, the combination of how we're using those stitches. A lot of the stitches that we do with the blanket are going to be basic stitches, but when you take basic stitches and you combine them in a combination kind of way, you get beautiful texture. So this blanket is super fun. And again, there's a tutorial every month to make this blanket. So if you're unsure of how to work a stitch, the tutorial video usually comes out within a few days of the unboxing video coming out and within typically a week of shipping day. So we ship these boxes on or around the 10th of every month between the 10th and the 15th. We always try to shoot for the 10th, um, but sometimes depending upon the schedule, it may have to get moved out a little bit if the 10th falls on a weekend or a holiday or something like that. But the tutorial always comes out on the YouTube channel. Now you can make this blanket as a one skein project. And I mentioned that earlier. The pattern's designed to be a two skein project. We don't always use the full two skeins, but we need more than one in order for it to be the right size at the end of the year. If you want to just make this project with one skein, you can absolutely do that. It would be more of a lap blanket. So instead of the blanket being where it's 50 inches wide and then 60 inches tall, it would be 50 inches wide and about 30 inches tall. So when you're using your blanket, you would rotate it the other way so it was more of a lap blanket and you've got more of that length of that 50 inches going along your legs um, versus as wide across. So that is an option. The biggest thing with if you're going to make the change and work it with one skein, then two is to kind of look at the pattern and we're gonna chat about the pattern in just a moment, but look at the pattern see what row the two skein ended on. So sometimes the stitch is the same for all of the rows for that panel. Sometimes it's a combination of two. Sometimes it can be a combination of like six or like with Sea Lion, we had the bottom was one combination stitch going on. The middle was a different stitch combination. And then the top was the same as the bottom. So my biggest thing would be if you're going to make it with one skein, just make sure to end on the same kind of row that I end on for working the two skein. That way, when you pick up with the next month's yarn, uh, you're in that same place that I am. Even though you didn't work as many rows, you'll be able to pick up easier and right in the same place. Now, you can find all of these yarns in the store to be able to make this blanket. So you can find dolphin, anemone fish, octopus, sea lion, and coral. As we reveal more of these, you'll be able to grab them from the store. And so that means that you can join like the collection at any point. If you join, let's say you join and you join now and it's for the month of June, you're gonna get June's yarn. So if you decide that you wanna make the blanket, you can go back and grab the other yarns and you can either grab them all at one time or you can grab them in a slower pace and be able to grab a skein or two that you're going to need and make that progress on that blanket and then come back and grab some more. So those will stay in the store. They will be available all the time on their base if you want to be able to go back and join that. Now let's chat about the crochet pattern. So what I wanted to do different this year versus what we did last year. So last year, remember we did individual squares and that meant that there were 20 different crochet patterns that you needed on top of being able to do, if you're gonna do the seaming and the border and have that pattern as well. So I guess it would have been 21 patterns. What I wanted to do this year was give you a continuous PDF download. So let's say you join the subscription for the month of June. When you join for the month of June, you're going to not only get the June portion, but you're going to get January, February, March, April, May, and June. So this is what I wanted you to be able to have that if you decide to join at a later date, or maybe you didn't start at the beginning of the year, but you've got all the yarns, you've only got one current pattern that you need to look for. The newest version of that pattern is what you'll need. So that way you've got it and you can make it at your own pace. You've got the yarns and you can make the project. So basically how it started is at the beginning, it's kind of like 
the materials, the information, kind of information of what you need to know about making this blanket. And then every month is about a page long, like a PDF page with that month's yarn, gauge, um, all other supplies you need, notes, and then the written pattern on how to work that along with a photo. Sometimes if the pattern for that month is going to be a much longer repeat sequence, it can maybe go into another page. But for the most part, it's one page that you need. So whether you love printed patterns or the PDF version, if you start it later and you want to print, you know, January through June, you can do that. Or if you just need the PDF and be able to access it digitally, you can scroll through, find which one you need um, and save it and then be able to work on it. So that's what I wanted to do different this year is last year you needed 21 different patterns to keep track of to make the entire blanket. And this year I just wanted it to be one continuous pattern. So when I update it for that month's collection, so when you get that month's collection and you get your card in your box to go download that pattern, I have basically gone through and I add that month's save it as whatever that month update version is. So for May, you know, it was the under the sea blanket, May update. Then there's everything in there from January to May. So then every month it'll be that new month update. So this blanket is super fun. If you love working with a variety of yarns, crochet hooks, different stitches, want to expand your skills, like if you know basic crochet, but you want to kind of expand on working a little bit more of advanced stitches because when you know basic crochet stitches and you take them on their own, they're super beautiful. But if you take them and you combine them, like if you put a single crochet, a half double crochet and a double crochet together in the same stitch, it makes the most beautiful texture. You know, if you work in the chain one spaces versus in the stitch, it creates a beautiful texture. If you, you know, take a combination of like a crisscross stitch, but instead of it being double crochet, it's a single and a double crochet crisscross. It creates gorgeous texture. So that's what I love about this blanket. And I loved last year's blanket. I actually finally just got the chance to like photograph it in its entirety. It's been done since the end of the year last year, but finally had the chance to photograph it. And it's such a large, beautiful blanket. And I'm like, we were almost to the halfway point with our under the sea blanket. And this one's going to be the same thing. It's going to be one beautiful blanket when we're done. But at the end of the year, we won't have to seam anything together. We will have an optional border that you'll be able to do if you want to grab the optional border colorway. And that'll be available at a later date. Um, and that's just if you like borders on your blanket, which I do. And it will just add an additional color in there. And I'll reveal that later, but it's going to be super fun. So basically that's the under the sea blanket. It's a year long two skin project. You can join at any time. There are tutorials. There's the written pattern. Um, you'll get the PDF download every month. If you do the Lathrop collection subscription box, so you'll get the updated version. It is so much fun. I love making this blanket. I love making blankets. And as the more and more we add to this blanket, it's going to become a blanket that we can actually use as we're working on it. So be a nice lap blanket as we're in kind of midway here and I love it I love it it's super fun I love getting to work with all the different textures and the yarn weights and the crochet hook sizes and it's so much fun <laughs> I love I love everything we create but this blanket is so much fun and I love that it's basically you work that month's yarn and crochet hook and stitch and you're like okay this one's done fold it up you go in your timeout spot until the next month's yarn arrives and then back at a timeout, you join and keep going. It is just, it's a lot of fun. So again, you can find the yarns, past yarns for this. You can find the PDF download in the store. If you want to just kind of do this at your own pace, if you want to join the subscription box, it's Lether Collection. If you want to do a full size blanket, you'll need the two skein box option. You can go with just the yarn or you can go with the deluxe box and that way you'll have the crochet hook um, headed to you as well. Or if you want to do the one skein option, you can do that too. It would just be more of a lap blanket and you would just need one skein. And you can do a crochet hook option with that as well. 
Again, with Lather Collection, there's so many different box options for you to choose from. You can pick whichever one that fits you best. And again, with Funfetti crochet hooks and natural crochet hooks, we offer those in the deluxe boxes. You can have a mix match. You can go with Funfetti for a few months and then switch and maybe go with natural for a few months, however you want to do that. It is so much fun. We love creating this box. And this is such a fun year long project and blankets get used like crazy around my house. So before we wrap this up, I just want to go through and reshare each month and share the photo of what that blanket panel looked like, the yarn we used and the stitch and so much fun. And then kind of just chat about each one. So up first is our dolphin. Dolphin is such a beautiful color palette. It is like the sage with pops of blue and purple and peach, and it's so beautiful. So this one is created by using a combination of basic crochet stitches. It is a worsted weight yarn, and it was amazing to work with. The next one is our anemone fish. This one is a sport weight yarn, and this one is a basic crochet stitch as well. It's a combination, mainly of single crochets. And this one, because we are using a small size yarn and a small size hook, this panel does take a little bit longer to add. But as you can see, it creates the most beautiful texture and combination with this color that even though this part does take a little bit longer in the blanket, that's okay because it creates some beautiful texture. Up next is our octopus collection. This one is a several row repeat of basic crochet stitches, but creates beautiful texture. And Octopus is this fun color palette that has different shades of purple and gray and a little hint of pink. And it's just a little bit of brown in there as well. And it's such a fun color palette and just adds fun pops of color into the blanket. And I love it. The April box, we had the Sea Lion collection. This one, it's a beautiful color and I love this. This is like very my favorite kind of colors. So we've got like this beautiful teal and sage and brown all worked in there. It is a sock weight this month. The way this one was done is that at the bottom of the Sea Lion collection in the blanket, we worked a several row repeat of working basic stitches. Then in the center of the Sea Lion, we worked a gorgeous texture combination to create this beautiful stitch. And then at the top, we basically repeated what we did at the bottom. So this one, it's kind of like it's got its own center focal point, which is so fun. And then for May, we had the coral, which is a worsted weight. And this one had beautiful shades of like Cabernet and pink. And this like tobacco, which is kind of like a brownish green. And then like a sage green. And then also a beautiful like yellow with a mix of Cabernet and then some pops of blue. It's so fun. This stitch is a basic crochet stitch as well. Very similar to the anemone fish, but worked in a different way. And I love that. So as you will find with this blanket, it is more of like a close stitch blanket. Some of the squares last year, some of them were open and lacy and lighter. Um, this year we are doing something completely different where everything is kind of like close stitch together. You're going to have different, the way the weight will feel it will kind of depend upon like the weight we used and how heavy that is with the stitch that can kind of change as it did last year. But the overall feel and vibe is I want for this blanket is to be more close stitches and you know, kind of let that yarn shine and the stitches be close together. And just at the end of the year, it's going to be one fun blanket that I am sure everyone in my house will try and steal because it's so fun and so beautiful. I hope y'all are loving our under the sea blanket for 2022. I wanted to kind of sit down and re-chat about this blanket because I unbox it every month on the YouTube channel doing a unboxing sharing going in detail of what we featured that month but i wanted to kind of just revisit this particular project and kind of have a little bit of a check-in with this and rechat all about how this is made and all that fun stuff um one thing i will say with making this blanket because we are working in continuous rows 
and because our yarn weight and our hook sizes change every month along with the stitch sometimes you will find that your tension will change a bit so like the sea lion that one is one that is a very tight stitch it's sock weight small size hook so with that whole combination you may find that your blanket wants to lean a little bit in that particular stitch and that's okay it is a simple fix if you just steam block it and stretch it back out to where it belongs it will go back um, it's just that type of stitch that's worked with that small yarn and small hook but when you add in the coral it kind of balances back out so if you steam it um, it'll calm down and you can do that at any point either after you add in your sea lion collection or if you want to wait until you have the coral added and then go back and do that um, i steamed it after i did coral because it gave me back that width and then i had the sea lion that i could use as the one that would be stretched and i had the bottom and the top as my guide and it totally relaxed and went back so um that works out super fine and then if we add a border to it everything will be even all the way around as we add that border so that's just a little tip for you. You can also wait until you're completely done with the blanket. And if you wanna give it a good steam, just to kind of relax it all. You don't even necessarily have to completely block it, but steaming it just on its own without adding any pins can help relax the fibers. But it's super fun. And I hope you all are loving this project because I love it so much. All right, y'all, remember you can find all of the past yarns in our store at theleatherco.com. Just click the under the sea tab. If you're looking for a specific collection, you can just type that into the search bar. There's dolphin, anemone fish, octopus, sea lion, and coral at this point. Very soon we'll be revealing what we are doing for June. And then every month we'll reveal the next one. You can join Leather Collection subscription box at any point. Just go to Leather Co subscription box tab in the store theletherco.com pick your box option and come join the fun because we love creating this box every month all right y'all until next time grab all your yarns your crochet hooks your under the sea blanket and get hooked bye guys